is the Intel earnings. I've already said in tape number one what those earnings were. They beat by five cents a share. They're guiding Q2 revs above consensus. ASP for microprocessors was slightly up. They're giving the upside guidance. I want everyone else to know that the uh, gross margins are 60.4%. And gross margins to 64%, plus or minus a couple of percentage points versus 61.6%. And that's up higher. Approximately, R&D spending approximately $64.4 billion. Tax rate approximately 31% for the second, third, and fourth quarters. Uh, depreciation approximately $4.4 billion plus or minus $100 million. Capital spending expecting is expected to be about 4.8 billion plus or minus 100 uh, million. And what that means, people, is that obviously corporate of America, since we've had the big move up off of this low, is they're starting to put some of that money to work on the balance sheet. And there's a lot of other things that go in with it. And we had Ray Ray get some $24 calls that he felt that he needed and so he got some $24 calls. He also had some $21 puts. Stockmarketfunding.com. Intel's giving up, giving up side guidance, giving up side guidance. Good quarter. Last quarter, when Intel had great news in January, they sold it off. This time, they're giving it some sweet love to the upside. And during the options expiration that we're in this week, and remember, www.SMF Street, home to the professional, home to the new beginner, home to everyone alike. And you're learning about after hours earnings. And this is that whipsaw. And I've already talked about those earnings. And now we've got uh, LLTC down here on another tick chart. And we're going to see if that pops. Here we go. Just want to show that what a good news report can do that means that worldwide, our futures are going to gap up, and the bear, well, they may have a price to pay. And let me tell you another thing. I just want people to know that Google closed at 586.77, and we got a 589.20 ask. And because of the good news here, market futures are gapping up in after hours. That takes equities higher. Say I've been given a gift. We own Google. All right, here we go on Intel again and after hours. I've already told everyone of part one and part two, and I've told everyone about what it is. And once again, you want to learn how to be an expert trader. Our traders in our pro trading school, and they in their school, after hour earnings are included. If you're just a regular investor and you want to learn more about how to trade stock fundamentals and stock earnings, it's $5,000 per quarter. And that's where we take you through the whole earnings quarter of all the publicly traded companies for that very low price of $5,000. Now, if you're in the pro trading school, well, that's included. So you would actually save money by being in the 52-week school because it's included. But if you're not in the SMA pro trading school, that is what your cost is to you. And they did good, and they're going to be up and down. It doesn't move a lot, lot, lot like the high beta stocks. But what sets the ringtone is the ringtone for other semiconductors and where we're at in the semiconductor cycle. And also where we are at as far as um, the actual new product cycles that are coming out. Like I always told people a year ago, what technology does, it forces you off the sideline into the store to upgrade. And corporate corporations will have to upgrade their infrastructure. Uh, even us as individuals have to upgrade. And that's one thing about technology is when times get tough, it's about obsoleting the old product out and making you as a consumer come in and buy the new product. They've been doing it for a number of years. Uh, LLTC, which is right here, they're going to report. I don't have a report yet. And the thing about it is it's gapping up with Intel and sector relation gap. 